Good day, students. I'm Mark Mendoza. You can call Mr. M. Let's mark up your math skills today. For this video, we will be discussing theorem number three on limits at infinity of polynomials. But before we continue with this video, please watch the video on the first two theorems. You can find the links in the description. Theorem number three states that for any positive integer n, n c is a constant, the left-hand limit and right-hand limit of c over x raised to n are zero. To prove this, let us have a fraction with a numerator fixed at one and multiples of 10 for the denominator. As you can see, the value of the fraction gets smaller and smaller, infinitely small, and it approaches zero. To further explain this theorem, let us find the limit of some rational functions. To solve for the limit of rational functions, we divide each term in the numerator and denominator by the highest power of x in the denominator. Afterwards, we solve for the limit of each term by applying the different limit laws and theorems. Let us have an example. Let's find the limit of 5x minus 4 all over 2x plus 3 as x approaches positive infinity. Divide each term in the numerator and denominator by the largest power of x in the denominator, which is x. Simplify the fractions by canceling x. We're going to have the limit of 5 minus 4 over x all over 2 plus 3 over x as x approaches positive infinity. Then, we rewrite the given by applying limit loss and evaluate the limit of each term. Afterwards, we simplify the fraction. Therefore, the limit of the function 5x minus 4 all over 2x plus 3 as x approaches positive infinity is 5 over 2. Let us have another example. Let's find the limit of 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 all over x minus 5x squared as x approaches positive infinity. We divide each term in the numerator and denominator by the largest power of x in the denominator, which is x squared. And then, we simplify the fractions by canceling similar terms. After which, we rewrite the given by applying limit loss. Then, we evaluate the limit of each term and we apply the third theorem about limits at infinity of polynomials. Therefore, the limit of the function is negative 2 over 5. Now, it's your turn. Please pause the video and solve for the limit of the given function as x approaches positive infinity. And here are the solutions and answers to the given problem. Given that the limit of a rational function is a real number, and then we can say that the horizontal asymptote of the rational function is equal to the limit. Let us have an example. Since the limit of the function 12 minus 5x plus 8x cubed all over 2x cubed minus x squared as x approaches positive infinity is 4, therefore, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 4. This can be proven by the graph of the function. And that is theorem number 3 on limits at infinity of polynomials. Thank you for watching this video and hope you learned something today.